Number 15, a particle leaves the origin with an initial velocity v equals to 3 in the i direction, meters per second, and a constant acceleration a equals to minus 1 in the i direction, minus 0.5 in the j direction, meters per square second, when it reaches its maximum x-coordinate, what are its velocity and position vector? So just notice here that the acceleration is constant. You see that the acceleration doesn't change. So when the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. We can use x equals to xo plus vot plus at squared over 2. We can also use v equals to vo plus at and v squared equals to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x. However, those three equations are for only one dimension, and in this case we have two different dimensions. You see that the acceleration points in the i direction and also in the j direction, so we have two different dimensions. So we can rewrite those equations for the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. For the x-coordinate, we have that x is equal to xo plus voxt plus axt squared over 2. We also have that vx is equal to vox plus axt. We are not going to use this equation over here, this third equation, so we are just writing the first two equations. For the y coordinate, we have that y equals to yo plus v o y t plus a y t squared over 2 and also v y is equal to v o y plus a y t. Okay, so those are the equations that we are going to use in this problem. So let's use the information that is given over here. So we know that the initial velocity only have an x component, so and the, the particle leaves the origin, so this is 0, this is 0. This vox is equal to 3, so this is 3. voy is 0, so this goes away, and this goes away. The acceleration in the x, x direction is equal to minus 1, so this is minus 1, and in the y direction is minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 okay so we can rewrite this so x is equal to 3 times t minus t squared over 2 vx is equal to 3 minus t so this is the equations for the x direction for the y direction we have that y is equal to minus t over 2 because sorry I'm looking at the bottom equation, so is equal to minus 0.5 over 2, minus 0.5 over 2 is minus 1 over 4, t squared, and vy is equal to, this is a half, minus t over 2. So those are the equations that we have, and we have to find the velocity and position vector when it reaches the maximum x coordinate. So what's happening here? So the initial movement, let's make some drawing here. So it's easier to understand. So this is x, this is y. So we can see that the particle initially is moving to the right, to the x direction, because the initial velocity points to this direction. However, the acceleration is negative in the, the i direction and in the j direction as well. So we can think that the particle is doing something like this. Okay? And this over here, it's the maximum x coordinate that the particle reaches. So this point over here. And this is what we have to find. But you can notice that exactly at this point, the velocity in the x direction change its signs. So Exact, exactly at this point, vx is equal to zero because it's moving to the right and then starts moving to the left. And at this point, vx is equal to zero. So that's the information that we, ha we, we have to use. So 
0 is equal to 3 minus t, so t is equal to 3 seconds. So the particle reaches the maximum x-coordinate when the clock shows us 3 seconds. So we just have to find the position and the velocity for t equals to 3. So the position in the x direction for t equals to 3 is equal to 3 times 3 minus 3 squared over 2. And this is equal to 4.5 meters. The velocity in the x direction is 0, right? Because that's what we concluded by analyzing the, the situation. The position in the y direction is minus 3 squared over 4. This is equal to minus 9 over 4 meters. Don't forget to include the unit. And the velocity in the y direction is minus 3 over 2 meters per second. So now we can build our vectors. So for letter A, we want our vector velocity. So the velocity only has one component, which is its y component. So it is equal to 3 over 2 in the j direction, meters per second. So this is our vector velocity. And vector b, the position, let's call it r, is equal to the x component, 4.5 in the i direction, minus 9 over 4 in the j direction. Don't forget to include the unit, which is meters, and that's it.